Driving around in LA, telling you I'm on the way. I just might run in the bank, pull out some money to play. All right, before I start this video, I want you guys to notice something, all right? You notice it? Let me know in the comments down below if you notice what I'm talking about. I don't know if you will. Anyways, um, I'm gonna tell you, I got new chairs. Yeah, I got new chairs from Amazon. Cause the other ones are squeaking, okay? And it was getting annoying and I know I could just get WD-40, but it was more than just squeaking. It was like I was rocking on the, it, it was bad. Anyways, you ain't here to hear that. That's not what you here to hear, how you are the man. You the man, bruh. Stop thinking you not the man. Look, this video is about putting yourself before her, okay? A lot of dudes hit me up. Missy, how do I show her? that I care about her, or what do I need to do for her to be happy with me doing this and that? What? Bro, you need to care about yourself. You need to care about your health, your fitness, you know what I mean? It's kind of in the same category. Uh, your finances, okay? You need to treat yourself, open the door up for your damn self. Stop worrying about, should I try to open the door for her, or what should I, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's nice to do nice things for someone that you care about, but there's a difference between doing nice things, caring for somebody here and there, and then just going over the top, over analyzing situations, thinking too hard, too deep, doing too much. When you're doing too much, it reeks of desperation, it reeks of, of insecurities, it reeks of why is he doing it? Look, you got a lot of sim symptoms going on. When you're doing it, she's like, he's just sipping so hard for me. Like, does he not care about himself? Like, you would literally shave her armpits before you shave your face. Baby, I got you, don't even, I, I got the nair in the, in, the, uh, in the bathroom. You want me to go grab it for you? Boy, if you don't step out of it. Come on, look. She's not impressed. She's not wanting you to do more. She's not looking for somebody to, uh, you know, put the red carpet and bow down to everything she does or says. You know what I mean? Because once you do that, you've demasculated yourself. Emasculated or emasculated? Emasculated, I think. I don't know. I should have probably paid more attention in school, but that's not what we here for. You know what I mean? You're making yourself look like less of a man. What you need to do prioritize your life, your goals. What makes you happy? What pleases you? How about you flip it on her? What is she not doing to make you happy? Treating you like a king. Why are you treating her like a queen when she treating you like a peasant? You got more respect for yourself. I hope you do, bruh. Cause she walking all over you right now. It's not a good look. She getting away with a lot. You putting her on this high pedestal and that's the problem. Like, what do I need to do to get her? How about you change your mindset? What does she need to do to get you? You are the prize. You, you, you are everything that you don't believe you are at this moment. While you're watching this video, you don't believe you deserve her. Let's be real. Let's be real. Deep down, on a core level, you're like, I need to, I need to find a way to wiggle in and just make her fall for me because I'm finessing her. Like, you know what I mean? You're trying to finesse her attraction instead of building genuine attraction. Once you, once you're like attracted to yourself, pause, you guys know what I mean. Not like that, but like have a certain amount of self love and respect for yourself. You know what I mean? And you don't put up with certain things. She's going to realize that and it's going to build her attraction. She's going to be genuinely attracted to you, not forcefully or manipulated into, you know, liking you and that only lasting for a momentary amount of time. You know what I mean? Because anybody could do that. We I could teach you how to just manipulate a girl to like you for tonight and then tomorrow she's not going to like you. But that's not what we here for. We here for getting them to, I mean, I don't know what you're here for, honestly. Let me know in the comments what you're here for. You might just want to do that, manipulate them, da-da. That's cool. But if you're over here to build your roster, have them on board for a long period of time, an extended period, and not just here today, going tomorrow type of thing, then you really need to pay attention, all right? But yeah, man, we like to prioritize women and try to, you know, figure them out. What do they want? What do I need to do? This and that, like, you just need to just relax. It always comes down to that, like, you need to chill. You need to stop overthinking what you need to do for her. 
Start overthinking what you need to do for yourself. Cause then when she sees you stressed out, she'll be like, Babe, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? You look a little stressed. Are you worried about like where you're taking me for vacation? No! Worried about my damn self. What about take myself for vacation? I ain't going on vacation. I'm going on my vacation. Because I need time. I need I need peace of mind. And you ain't giving me that, girl. Okay? You're stressing me out. She'll be like, oh my god. Really? I'm sorry. Oh my god, really? I didn't know. <laughs> She's gonna start to cry so that you're gonna be like, babe, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Under if you don't, bruh, stop falling for the okie doke. It's too easy. It's too easy. They they know you're gonna fall for that. If you, if you got, you know what I mean? If you contracted simp, you will fall for it. You will. And uh, happens, happens to the worst of us, so. Be the best version of you. Be the best version of you and guess what? She will be attracted to you. And it will be easy, effortless. You'll be like, damn, I'm just getting women just off of just being me and just loving myself and just focusing on what I want out of life. This isn't just about focusing on you like as far as like your purpose and life. Goal. Like you need to do that, 100%. But I'm talking about focusing on making you happy. Like what you're trying to do for her, Putting that on yourself, okay? Take yourself out to get a massage. You know what I mean? That's okay. You should. Why not treat yourself? Take yourself to go get a filet mignon steak. You know the best part about that? It's cheaper. It's dinner for, uh-oh, one. You trying to, you know, impress her, flex, you know, hey baby, don't even trip, you know, I'm gonna take you out to a nice dinner, you know what I mean? I dressed up, you know, got the freak, and, um, but the magnetic on, which you should do anyways, because when you go out by yourself, there's gonna be, you know, more girls for your roster, so you're gonna need the magnetic cologne link in the description, and they're gonna just, what's that smell? Like, you're gonna get compliments, bruh, and they're gonna be gone soon, so make sure you get yours. Anyways, uh, yeah. You, you go out you by yourself and it's just, it's okay. It's okay. And I'm not saying do this all the time, but every now and then treat yourself out. Take yourself on a date. It sounds very weird. You're probably like mystic. I'm never going to do that. That's dumb. I don't want to date myself. I want to date a girl. Bruh, I know. But once you can do this and feel comfortable doing this, you're gonna get this sense of like, just calmness, you know? Like, stress is not gonna be a factor in your life as far as when it comes to, what do you have to do for her and what do you gotta, because in your mind, you're like, I don't really need her. I don't need to impress her. I don't need to do over the top things because I love myself fully, I'm fully capable of making myself happy. The reason you want to make her happy is so that it makes you happy because knowing that you made her happy could make you happy because you are people pleasing. So once you get over people pleasing and you just please yourself, well, not like that. I mean, you, you, you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? I hope you get what I'm saying. Try it out. It might be weird going out, hanging out, doing something, just doing stuff by yourself. It might feel weird. Things that seem like I should be doing these on a date with a baddie. I get it, I get it. And once you get past that, once you go on a date with her, the date will be 10 times better. I promise you, try it out. Let me know. I love you guys. <laughs> Until next time, focus on you and the women will too. Driving around in LA, telling you I'm on the way. I just might run in the bank, pull out some money to play.